I have a sister, Aoi, who is unrelated to me by blood. That's because I'm adopted. My parents and Aoi's parents were best friends. Aoi and I were only a year apart, so we used to hang out a lot as families since we were little. Then one day, my parents passed away in a terrible accident. Mommy! Daddy! Apparently, my parents had gotten married by practically eloping, so I had never even met my relatives before. Yoko passed away. Could you please come and see your grandchildren once? Aoi's parents tried contacting my grandparents just in case, but... We had already disowned them. I don't care what happens to them at this point. I was left all alone in the world, familyless. So Aoi's parents took me in. I'm your mother from now on. Thank you. That happened when I was in first grade. From then on, Aoi's parents became my guardians, and Aoi became my sister. Help me cook after you finish homework! Alright! With a sudden increase in the number of kids, Mother had begun working too. We're, We're leaving. leaving! Aoi's parents cared deeply about my future. I found it a bit embarrassing, but I showed my respect to them by referring to them as mom and dad. Is mom going to be late today too? Yeah, mother is really talented, so she gets asked to do a ton of work. That's what Aoi would tell me, but it was obvious mother was overworking herself and I felt really bad. I don't think about going to college. I think I'll start working once I graduate from high school in order to repay. Oh, you got this problem wrong! What? No, I... I was just about to fix my answer! Careless mistake! That's lame! <laughs> Can you make it to middle school if you're like that? Stop acting like that! You're just a year older than me! So naggy! <laughs> Let's become respectable adults and take good care of mom and dad together! Take care... Okay... <laughs> mom, dad, and Aoi. I really loved everyone with all my heart. They let me go to the college I wanted to, and I finally turned 20. A few years later, Aoi got married to the boyfriend she had been with since college. I earned a job in a big corporation, and mom and dad were overjoyed about us. What a life full of happiness, I had thought back then. But... The following year, mom and dad died in an accident. It was when I had just begun to think about the ways that I could repay them. My mind went blank. Also, Aoi's husband suffered from a stroke. All the desperate attempts to make him recover ended in vain, and he passed away. Aoi, who was in her second trimester of pregnancy, got left behind. <sighs> what did your husband's parents say? They said they want nothing to do with the child of their good-for-nothing son. They told me not to bother them and handle things on my own. What the heck? They're insane. Your husband was an incredibly kind person. He seemed to struggle with being left out within his family, so I really wanted to make a happy family. Owie. Everyone's gone now. Akira's father and mother. Mom and Dad, even my husband. It might be my fault. Huh? Why is that? It seems like everyone around me becomes unfortunate. That's not true. It would rather be my fault. Why? I had a best friend who got ill and passed away. The boy I had a crush on fell down the stairs and got critically wounded. Did you know? That my nickname in middle school and high school was Grim Reaper. I know. We went to the same school. But that's all coincidence. But everyone I've ever cared for leaves me. Even my baby might. Even you might. I won't. I won't die. I'll never die and leave you behind, Aoi. I promise. I'll always stay right by your side until you become old and pass away one day while peacefully napping out on the balcony. Akira. 
Aoi, you're not alone. I'll protect you. I'll protect both you and your husband's baby. Just like everyone has been protecting me up until now. But... I... No buts! Aoi, you are not a cause of misfortune. Remember? Everyone you've ever loved. They were always smiling. Mom and Dad loved you so much, Aoi. Your husband, too. You've saved him through so many hard times. He loved you so much, Aoi. I love you, too, Aoi. Thank you, Akira. After that, Aoi gave birth to a baby girl without meeting any huge problems. And I married Aoi to protect both her and the baby. Practically speaking, being a father made it legally easier for me to protect the child. No way, is that true? With his sister? I can't believe it. That's disgusting. Creepy, isn't it? What are they thinking? I could hear that. However, marrying the younger brother right after the death of her husband looked bad from the outside. To avoid meanness, we decided to start over from scratch at a place far from our hometown. We're in this together. Yeah. There were definitely some tough times. Welcome home. Dinner's ready. Daddy! But their smiles helped me march through any kind of hardships. And just a few days ago, we told our high school daughter the truth. That I'm not her real father. That Aoi and I used to live together as siblings in the past. Bombarded by so much information at once, our daughter just listened with her mouth agape. Even if she were to despise us for hiding everything this whole time or feel disgusted, I was ready for the worst. But... Thank you, Father. For protecting Mother. For protecting me. Thank you. <laughs> I had dedicated my life to protecting them. The moment my daughter, whom I wish her happiness from the bottom of my heart, told me this, I felt like I had been forgiven with everything. Thank you, Shizuka. Oh gosh, Dad. She made me feel as though I had made the right decision. Incredible. Such a day would finally arrive. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> I, it's me who should be thanking you both. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you guys crying? <laughs> because we're happy. I'm done with crying tears of sorrow. From now on, I'd like to only shed tears of happiness.